my mayor, a colleague, and a very good friend. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't get very far, did I? <laughs> Lori Christopher has given so much of her life in service to our city. And it all started because she was a mom with two kids and wanted a swing in a park. It's that kind of dedication and that kind of passion for family, for community, that leads the kind of leadership that we have enjoyed <coughs> under Lori. On her plaque here, we have some of the things that have mattered so much to her. Kaiser Rapids Park. This is one of the 19 parks we have, and yes, we do have a swing in a park. <laughs> we have lots of swings. Eight, of Eight swings. <laughs> lots of places for our kids to play. Kaiser Station. Jobs, economic development, that has been the hallmark of Lori's leadership. She cares about our community, that we be a strong, robust <coughs> economy, a strong, robust community that is a strong, independent city. You've made a difference, Lori. Kaiser Community Center. We're sitting in one of the hallmarks of the uh, City Council. <coughs> Councilor Moyer was also on the task force to help make this happen going from a wonderful little schoolhouse to a beautiful facility that is going to serve our community for a long time to come. Lori, you have left a mark on this city that will be blessing people for years to come. And please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in <coughs> honoring and thanking Lori Christopher, Mayor of Heiser. Redefining and defining what that means to us and what that means to our families and what that means to all of the folks who work and live here. And we've done a great job. When I look back at the years that I've spent on city council, I have nothing but pride bursting from, from my heart for what we've accomplished together. You know, I, I did an exit interview with the Kaiser <coughs> Times and uh, Lyndon asked me, what would you like your name on? I said, I don't need my name on anything. I drive down River Road, and I, I go to Kaiser Station, and I'm at concerts in Kaiser Rapids Park, and I spend time at the community center and city hall, and it's all mine, and it's all yours, and you've all done it together. It's taken all of us. There's nothing, and none of you, new counselors and seasoned counselors, you'll do nothing alone. Certainly, I did nothing alone. You will all do it collectively, and you will do it with the entire community, because that's the only way that things happen in the city of Kaiser, is all of us working together. So congratulations, new counselors. Congratulations to those of you who are continuing on. And I want to spend the last time just telling you how much I've appreciated working with city staff. I've had an opportunity to work with many cities throughout our region and through the League of Oregon Cities. Um, certainly work closely with the city of Salem and Marion County. I know a lot of staff and you ha can't imagine how much our staff is so much better. <laughs> I'm telling you, Chris Epley is revered throughout the region as a city manager. He helps newer city managers learn the ropes. He has integrity, he has ethics, he has honesty. I've never worked with a better writer. And early on in my term, I, I don't even know which term it was, um, there was some rocky road, and I came to Chris 
and said I was, I was concerned that my actions would impact my kids. And I know you guys think about that too. You think, I never want to make a decision or do something that's going to cause my kid a hard time. And I thought the same thing. And Chris said, you do the right thing, you continue to make public policy, and if there's ever any time that your kid has to answer for your decisions, you tell me. And I tell you, you can't imagine what that meant to me as a mom. And I never looked back, and I never had a problem, but I knew if I did, I knew Chris had my back. So Shannon, Shannon and I talk a lot, and I, I just hated when I would hear his voice on the phone because I knew it meant no. And then we had to worry, wangle around and figure out how we could do some of the things that we wanted to do for our community, some of the things that we thought were very important. Um, he's a terrific city attorney. He is conservative as hell. And I think that's exactly what you want in an attorney. As you can see, we haven't gotten ourselves in trouble yet. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, I don't want Shannon taking chances. I want him telling me no. I want him making me earn my bacon to, to forward an idea. And he's done exactly that. He's terrific. And we've got him. Chris just told me tonight, he's only got a mere 16 more years with us. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm, and Shannon's probably got about the same. So then we come, and then we come to Nate Brown. And um, God love Nate, because, uh, you know, Nate is community development director taking care of all the planning, and a lot of what we do is planning. That is a huge part of what we do. And we have all these wild-eyed ideas about what we want to do, and it's Nate who brings us down to earth and helps us look those 20 years into the future and the 30 years into the future to say, is this really what you're thinking? Because this is where this could lead. And what about this? And what about that? You've been a valued, valued staff person to me. And I, you know, I feel like, I feel like Dorothy on The Wizard of Oz, you know, and you're the scarecrow. I love you most of all. <laughs> um, Bill Lawyer, I mean, what a yeoman's job. He picks up after Rob Kistler, 40 years in that job. Those are big shoes to fill and hasn't missed a beat. And every time, again, any wild-eyed idea that we want, Bill Lawyer lays out all the options, tells us how we can get there. You know, that's one thing I love about the staff. They never say no. They never say no. They just tell us what the cost will be. And the cost is not always in money. And so I really appreciate that, having a number and a myriad of options so that we can make the best decisions that we can make for our community. They keep us in line because we're just the citizens. We're just giving you a citizen's perspective. These are the professionals, and these are the folks that keep us on the straight and narrow. I don't want to forget Chief Teague. I don't want to ever forget Chief Teague. What a joy. A retread. Another retread, Dennis. Um, <laughs> who we trained him, he left us, couldn't stay away, came back, and now he loves us, don't you? And our police department loves him, and he's doing a fabulous job. So I'm just, I don't want to see you on the street once I leave here, nor any of your guys. I'll just wave. And I can't stop without saying thank you to Michelle DePina. I'm a human resources director for the state of Oregon, so we're kin. And we're so lucky to have Michelle DePina. Um, you have no idea how important it is to have really competent, trustworthy, experienced human resources help. And that is all of Michelle. She has done an excellent job for us and will continue more than 16 years <laughs> to do that. And then you all heard how I feel about Tracy. Um, there's just none better. So I, you know, everybody says, are you sad to be leaving? I'm so joyous to be leaving because I feel so confident in what all of you will do in the future. Certainly, we've never had a more prepared mayor than Kathy Clark. She has spent eight years learning her lessons, and certainly she knows them. And she will serve us well. She will be an excellent mayor. I have absolutely no regrets. I have nothing but love and thankfulness for the city of Kaiser allowing me to represent them for the next 14 years. And let me tell you, Council, um, when you need me, I've got your back. Thank you so much. <laughs>